The purpose of this video is to show you how to do a homework assignment in my stat lab. If you're in Blackboard, which you currently see on the screen, the left hand menu has my stat lab homework, which will take you directly to homework. It also has my stat lab course home, which will take you to the course home page. I'm going to go into my stat lab. This is what it looks like if I go directly to homework. If I come in through my browser, if I just Google my stat lab and sign in, I click on my course, I click on homework. My homework assignments are listed here. You see a lot of homework assignments, but typically only the ones that are due that week will be available to you. So I'm going to click on homework two. I was in playing with this earlier, and so you see that the first question has already been attempted. Every single question gets three attempts. Every single part of every single question also gets three attempts. So we're going to start on question number two. When you come in to do a question, you have lots of help available to you. So right here, question help on the right hand side, the first tool is help me solve this. And it will help you do the exact problem you're working on. So when I click on this, it gives me a little bit of directions. At the bottom, I click continue, and it helps me figure things out. It lets me try my answers and check them to see if they're right. And I can continue to work through the entire question using this. When I close this window, the numbers out here in the actual question update because you do not get credit when my stat lab is walking you through the problem. You have to do a similar one on your own. The second option in your help menu is view an example. When you view an example, it is different than the actual question. So if you can see both here, this time I can work through the example. And when I close the win window, I still have my same question to work through out here. So I click my answer of five. You'll notice as soon as I click on this box, I have an extra keypad here to help me type things mathematically. And I check my answer and I'm doing okay. The next part of the question has come up, so let's look at our different helps. After view an example, we have textbook. And this will take you directly to the correct section of your e-text so that you don't have to do a lot of page flipping. These questions are from Chapter 2, Section 1, and we're talking about class with in frequency distributions. And so that information starts right here, and we can use the left and right hand gray bars to turn the pages and figure out that information. Back here under question help, after textbook, we see stat crunch. I'm not going to go there today because you don't need that on your first assignments. Stat crunch is the stat software, and it will be fantastic once we need to make graphs, calculate mean, standard deviation, and do hypothesis testing. Under tech help, this is help with stat crunch. So once we get into stat crunch, we can also use the tech help. As we go past the next line, we get asked my instructor, and this will send me an email. It will send me a link to the actual question that you're on, but you need to take time to type and ask me what it is you're stuck on or what you're not understanding. I'm going to click cancel for now, but you would click send. And do give me time to get back to you. I am not on email 24-7, although I check my email often. The final item listed is print, and you may print a question. If you're somebody who much prefers to work on paper and pencil, you may do that. However, when you come back into your homework assignment, the numbers may have updated. And now, I'm going to go through and fill in wrong answers for this entire question so that you can see what happens as we do that. So, the video that you're watching is going to look like it takes a break and more is filled in when I come back in a moment. Here I have typed incorrect answers and I'm going to click check answer and you see that it tells me my answer is wrong. So this was my first attempt. 
And now I have a second attempt. I'm going to check my answer again. And then it reminds me that this is my final or third attempt on this question. Again, the video will skip ahead. Here I am at the final check of the final part of this question. Now you see two buttons here. One button will have me go on to the next question. and The other option is to click a similar question. So now that it has showed me the correct answers, hopefully I can look back at the question. I can remember what I read in the Help Me Solve This section. And I'm ready to do a question correctly. So when I click on Similar Question, it reminds me that my instructor has limited me to a total of three attempts. And this one tells me it is my last attempt. My first attempt was the one where I clicked in the menu, help me solve this problem. Then I got the second attempt. And now this would be my last attempt to earn credit for this question. So if you're totally lost, you can send an email in between doing your first and last attempt for the entire question. But you're probably best off using the various help tools from this drop-down menu. The view and example is the one that will show you a similar problem. The help me solve this is the one that will walk through this exact question but not give you credit. So I hope that this has been helpful and if you have questions please use the Ask My Instructor and I'll try to help you walk through doing homework in my STAT lab.